only took me ages. Hello. Welcome. Today, only Jesus, or actually this is um, Virgin Madonna, but this is Jesus. Welcome. Um, only Jesus can help us today because it is very late for me already. I just completed this island. Welcome to Butternut. Today, we're going to be touring our Halloween slash Christmas island because we couldn't decide what to do. If you've been over to Twitch, you might have seen this. You might have seen the entire process of this. If not, I will link a little playlist for you below where I uploaded all the Twitch streams to my other YouTube channel if you'd like to check them out and see some of the builds that we've done on this island. But today we're going to be touring this island. This is Butternut. I am going to yeet myself over to the airport and you shall see a little montage to get you started get you know right in the moods of this welcome Harv thank you so much let's start Harv honey uh road We are at the airport. Before we start, I'm gonna show you the map, which is interesting, very interesting. Also very interesting villager lineup. This is the map of Butternut. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the dream address if you'd like to tour along with me. But for the residents, we obviously have myself, but we called her Nona because um she's different. You know, she's not like other girls. She's a bit spoopy. She um is kind of supposed to be like a broken doll. If you are going to tour this island and you also see the insides of my home which we're also going to be looking at today you may notice that dolls are a very big theme in that house and also like there are a couple scattered about on the island and um, so she is one of them and then we have Gail who didn't want to leave, Flo who didn't want to leave and Leopold who did not want to leave which I love but you know this is kind of like a spooky island and I feel like those are very horrifying. I do love I do love Flo to an extent. I like Gail not for this island though but they are here and that's okay you know and um Gail and Kurt might have a little thingy going on so we didn't want to crash that couple you know. Then we have Kiki Lobo, our island werewolf. We have Avery and Roswell. Uh, I love them all dearly except for <clears throat> those who shall not be named. But without further waffling on, let's flop ourselves right into it, shall we? So as you can see, we have an orange airport which goes very well with our stunning little Madonna here. Um, but if we head inside and onto the island, I'm going to flop my camera out so that I can get a nice shot of this entrance which I tried to really encapsulate the feeling of like both Christmas and Halloween and make it a bit spooky with like that. I feel like theme park items in the dark always have that like very eerie, strange vibe so it automatically feels kind of spooky. So that's kind of what I tried to do here. Um, and we also incorporated the museum right at the start, which I've never done before, but I really like how that looks. It just kind of, I don't know, I like the lighting as well. I really had so much fun decorating a nighttime island. I've never really done that before. So that was a ton of fun. And I really, really like this island entrance. It's it's probably one of my favorite ones I've done in a while. Um, and if you head through here, we have two ways that we could explore. We're gonna go to the right first um, because this is going to lead us to the Christmas market, which we're gonna go first because there are some gifts. We're not gonna we're not gonna unwrap them, um, but this is where you could find some gifts. I thought that the Christmas market would be a very nice place to find those. And again, we have spooky items and we also have some Christmas items. We have some dolls, as I said. Um, so I tried to mash all those vibes together. And this is right off to rest services. So if you wake up in a dream here, you can just head right down here and you're going to be at the Christmas market and you can get all your little gifties. There are three different versions of an outfit. You can either be a widow, you can be a mummy, or you can be a survivor. 
um, you will find out which is which and then there are some other little goodies that you can carry around just to make you know maybe maybe have some props for some cute little photos or so so I have you covered I have you covered whatever floats your boat you know you can even grab all three and change throughout you know because there are very different vibes going on on this island we are going to go up here again and off to the right, we are going to go past this or kind of behind this little castle thing that we're gonna check out from the front in a little second. And if we go down here, this is where the peninsula is. This is one of my first ideas that I had for some reason. And um, when we started, I kind of thought that it would be nice to have like a gravestone and then have like tons of wheat fields. And you will see that I may have gone slightly overboard with the wheat fields on this island because all of the beaches on this island look like this. They are filled to the brim with wheat fields because I really liked how it looked from afar. It just kind of blends the island and the beach together if you look at it from afar. And we also have Mr. Skeleton here. This is this is Greg. Welcome, Greg. Um, and Greg, Greg is Greg is the keeper of the, of the dead. You know, he he takes care of them. He plants little lilies of the valleys. Um, sometimes, not all the time. Uh, am I making the story up? on the spot yes yes i am indeed um but you know you gotta justify your design choices sometimes and i i i just did that um but on the beach there's not much going on we just have some very simple decoration you can't go anywhere through here this would be right off to rest services though but you can't really go through because i blocked it off but we have just some wheat fields some shrubs flowers all that good stuff just to fill that in and kind of frame the island in you can however go through here and either sneak through here or like you, you have to sneak a little bit okay and um, because this is where you can check out the castle from the front which i thought was very cute i was initially just gonna have some trees here but i thought you know what let's do a little castle because you know what is a horror island without a little castle this does not really look very creepy but i thought you know i just threw some stuff together i wanted to use a maple very desperately um, and I hadn't used one when we were trying to finish this island up last night, twitch.tv slash Nina tries. And um, yeah, so I thought that would be quite cute. You know, that would be very, very cute. And we just have some simple decoration, decorations, decorations with some candles, some stone items, all that good stuff. I honestly, I just, I, there's no rhyme or reason as to why I decorated it the way I did. I just kind of tried to Fill, fill in the empty spaces, try to make it look good while still kind of giving that like, Christmassy, um, spooky, but also abandoned vibe. I'm not really sure. It was, it's a whole big fat fucking mess, okay? But we're gonna go down here again and we're gonna go through this little walkway, which is again filled up with wheat fields because they are they were my favorite item on this island. Okay, we have so many on this island. I don't I don't even know how many way too many def definitely um and this is also off to the left of resident services you, you have multiple ways where you can go from rest services that this is not a one-way island like i usually do i usually like to design my islands in a circle but this island is not really like that this island is a little bit different you know she's not like other girls as well and if we head through here this is probably one of my favorite areas on this island which is a graveyard this graveyard is gigantic um, because it kind of stretches out and fades into different directions but this is like the 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 main kind of center of the graveyard and we just have some gravestones of all sorts we have the western style stones we have the zen style stones and we also use some of those um what are they called the stone tablets and I just tried to mix them in. I also used tons of those stone hinges because I thought they worked quite well with this vibe and I just filled it in with like all sorts of stone items, make it feel kind of, I don't know, like a graveyard but I didn't really want to make it like a structured one. Um, so that is exactly what we did and if we head up this little incline, we have again two different ways to go. We can go over this bridge or we could go down here, which is where we're gonna go first. So we're gonna head through here, which is another little foresty walkway filled up with all sorts of creepy things. We have another skeleton, which I love. I just feel like they they get that vibe across, you know, because I feel like it's difficult to create like spooky things in this cutesy game, <laughs> but I tried my best. I tried my best. Here we have the rock garden. Now you might wonder, 
Um, Nina, this is not a rock garden. This is not a rock garden. Why are there only two rocks? That is simply for the reason that the garden rocks, like the, the garden rocks, the, the proper rocks didn't want to spawn here. They spawned in all sorts of different places every single time I found them and I just gave up at one point. And I actually do like how this mismatch type thing looks with the asteroids as well. Makes it feel kind of, um, I don't know, kind of like magical because this is also the only fruit tree that we have on the island because I felt like, I don't know, maybe the magic had, you know, we tried to restore some magic to this island to make it feel warmer, cozier again, but the this was the only tree that it worked on. So um, that's the only one that grew fruit in them. You know, what, what, what can I say? I'm also making that up on the spot, actually. But oh well. And on the beach, there's not much going on again. We have a little gravestone, tons of wheat fields. And then down here, we also have Nook's Cranny, just with some very simple decorations, a little yacht, some barrels, another doll, you know, get that vibe across. Um, and then just some more wheat fields. And this is also right next to the entrance. Um, and yeah, there's not much going on. Again, just like tons of wheat fields, which we love. And we can go through here again and through that rock garden because off to the left, we are approaching a very lovely view that I'm actually quite proud of. And it was actually a product of me not really knowing what to do and what to fill that area with. We just have this little lake, which is a very generic view. But if we go up this little incline, this is almost like a little land bridge type thing. It's going to get glowier and glowier as we head through here, because this is the glowing lake that we built. We created like those little silhouettes with... Um, with garden rocks there. I actually just noticed that um, there was a fruit tree back there, actually, that I wasn't aware of. I do like how that looks, though, because the green works very, very well with the glowing moss items. I think that's why I didn't notice, <laughs> because I did several test runs so that we didn't, you know, we wouldn't have that same occurrence that we had with our last island where I left out tons of items that were not supposed to be there but this one i thought i fixed but that was that's the only mistake that we have the pear tree oh well that's okay i do actually kind of like it but we just have some silhouettes with several different like rock items in the distance so you can't really tell what's back there it just creates this nice little shape which i do really like and yeah we just have tons of glowing items around which i really really like it's just a fun time to play with those glowing items if you usually do like daytime items at islands i feel like you don't really get to play around with that that much so it was actually a nice little change for once but we are going to go through here again and next we're gonna go where we didn't go to the left at first so we're gonna head over this little bridge where you could also get a nice little view it's nothing too spectacular it's just a nice little double bridge moment with tons of foliage i feel like this is also like another island where we just have um, very, very many transition areas that are very random, but I do kind of like it. I feel like the randomness kind of fits with this more spooky theme, you know, and we just have some overgrown bits, some waterfalls back there with some trees on top, just some very random natural decorations. And if we hop over here, we have a little neighborhood that we're entering. So we have, um, I think this is where Kiki lives. And then next to Kiki, there is Leopold who was supposed to move out, but he didn't. And they have a little ruined neighborhood. So I, I, I don't know, I really loved playing around with the ruined items on our other island on Gnocchi, which is our Italian island. So I thought we could bring some of those vibes onto this island as well, because I had so much fun playing with those. And I actually really like how this looks. So that is where Leopold lives. We head up this incline, we have more villager houses. So this is where Lobo lives and he is neighbors with Avery who have very, very similar houses. That is because I have fallen in love with Roswell's house exterior and I kind of tried to make them look quite similar. I, I don't know, I really like having neighborhoods where the houses are similar but not the exact same. I feel like that's that makes it kind of fun um, but doesn't completely rob them of their uniqueness if that makes any sense. There's not nothing special going on. I just kind of have a pumpkin theme because if we head up this little incline, we have tons of pumpkins because as we make our way through here, we have a little pumpkin patch, which also in, um, incorporates some Christmas items. Again, you know, to 
combine those two items or elements even um, with the pumpkins or the spookiness. And then we also have the Christmas item. And I really, really like how this looks. I don't know, I, also with the glowing moss, it's just so nice. Kind of makes it feel e cozy even if in this little courtyard to bring that castle vibe in again. And here we have a little view that's not really a proper view, um, but that is where the secret beach is. I didn't want to like fully block it off and make it like not visible. So that looks like a very, very secret beach. Um, but you can't access it. It's just there for decorative purposes. But if we head through here, this is going to lead us to a little land bridge. Now you might wonder why not all the spots down there are decorated. That is simply for the reason that that is supposed to be a perspective build because if we make our way all the way over here, we get a view of a little lake with all those cedar, um, that all that are supposed to be cedar trees. Those are um, the cypress plants. And I think I've seen so many people do this where they try to make it look like a forest with those little things scattered in between smaller tree heights. So I thought that would be quite, quite cute. And um, yeah, but that's why some of the spots are still empty because you're into the distance and you aren't really supposed to pan up. Did actually try to fill them up. I just decided to keep it empty. I was also very done with this item. I kept it empty and I'm very happy with it. You are a liar, actress. So we're gonna make our way all the way back through the neighborhood again and we can go down this incline and then we're gonna go through this plain party lights arch again and over to the right here because this is gonna lead us over another bridge and then we have just another, you know, kind of accumulation of different stone items like we have the Stonehenge, we have the rock head statue and just some little rock items to fill that up because I felt like, I don't know, I, I really like having some rock items in the back of the island because it just adds to like the, shoreline-y feel if that makes any sense and if we go through here we are led through another little walkway with tons of glowing items i also really loved using some of these spooky trees because they look quite cute with the floating pumpkin he pumpkin pumpkin heads on them i cannot speak today i'm very very sorry i think it's just because i'm so tired after finishing this island but if we head through here we have a little Halloween slash Christmas feast, which is Kurt's little one, because I don't know, I feel like, you know, he's a bear. I feel like he gives kind of like grandpa of the island vibes. He wants everyone to have, have a full stomach and, you know, feel all right, feel good about themselves, have a little laugh together, have some, have some good food and enjoy their time. And that's exactly what we did. I really, really like this area, especially with like the Christmas tree in front. I don't know, I feel like it adds something. Whenever I didn't know what to do, I was like, well, maybe let's try a Christmas tree there. I don't know, I feel like I usually don't play with them, obviously, because they are a very particularly themed item. So I felt like they, they worked quite well, you know, obviously. And if we had three here again, we are back at resident services, but oh ho ho, we're not done yet. We're not done yet because we still have yet to check out the resident rep's house. So we're gonna slip past this very suspicious encounter and we're gonna enter the haunted mansion. As you can see, I'm not sure if I have been touring the entire thing with sound on, but in here we're definitely definitely gonna keep the sound on the game sound because I did spend a lot of time trying to make the soundscapes very like eerie, kind of spooky, kind of like a weird mix of like cutesy with the dolls and like the TV and like the Christmas elements, but make it very like spooky haunted house type thing. And I really, really like this room. I actually planned all of them in HHP and then just trans, you know, wrote down what we used and um, transferred it over to this house. And I'm very, very happy. As you can see also the back room and the left room are blocked off, but the right room isn't blocked off. Um, and that is where a very suspicious kitchen is. So we're gonna check that out right now. So in this little kitchen, there's, I mean, it's just a kitchen, but I don't know, like it gives me, I don't know, it, it kind of has this like um, spooky, there was like a meeting where we maybe were talking about things that we weren't supposed to talk about, planning things that we weren't supposed to plan. 
um, you know, selling things that we weren't supposed to sell, maybe. I don't know, like just some spooky, spooky meeting type thing. I think that is what this looks like, especially with like the water dripping and this music that all the all the music that is playing on this island is KK Dodge. I think that's what you pronounce it. Because it was recommended to me by one of you lovelies actually. And I feel like it fits the vibe very, very well. Um, so that is exactly what we were using throughout this entire house. And also throughout the island in some places. Okay, and then if we're gonna head through here again, we can either go downstairs or upstairs. We are going to go upstairs first. Because this is where the kind of master of this island has their little um, lab, I would say. I've seen so many people create like labs, especially with this wall. And I really have been very inspired to create one of my own. And especially with this lab chair, if you have been around for our past island, you may have seen this lab chair in a certain house on milk, maybe? <laughs> um, so I really wanted to bring it back, but maybe upcycle it a little bit. So this is a lot more modern to what we did on milk. And we just have some very spooky things. I also tried to incorporate some video cameras because that always gives me like a nasty feel when people want to film like nasty shit. And then also we have a little doll, obviously, because I feel like the juxtaposition between like the spookiness and the dolls just makes it even more scary. And I really like that. I mean, it's not particularly scary. It's a very cute game, especially with the fish just like looking at you. Um, but I don't know, you know, I, I, I really like this and I'm actually quite proud of it. So on we go to the basement. In the basement, we have some dungeons. So this is where whoever lives here may be keeping things or, um, you know, other um, things. So, um... Yeah, this is a very lovely place to be, definitely. Um, you can't really pan in any of the rooms because I did try to create them for um, making, like taking pictures in a sense. So I tried to make them, like you could pan, but there isn't really much going on. It looks best from like the head on view. So it's very simple. Obviously I threw this together last minute, but I am very happy with this room. I feel like it gets the vibe across you know and that is actually the last room of this house and that was not only the last room but also the last little area that we're going to be exploring today because that was everything that there is to this island it's really not that much because i feel like we have not wasted but we've used up quite a lot of space with like the two lakes and a ton of the views that we've built but yeah thank you so much for joining me today if you'd like to see our next little adventure that we're going to be creating on stream and then eventually touring on the youtube channel here there's always a link to my twitch channel in the description box down below if you'd like to check that out and if not i will see you for friday's video which may be a last build for noki or it will be the tour. I'm not exactly sure whether I should do another build or not. It depends on how inspired I am and what I'm and what I will end up doing if I feel like it's worth a build video. Get some lovely comments down below. Let me know what you think of this island and if you're excited for the next one. And I shall see you when I see you. Take care of yourself, my lovely. Bye.